Hi, my name is Samantha, and today I am going to Big Chop. After almost 21 months of transitioning, I am so ready um, just to get this out of the way, um, start my new hair journey, and you know, really get to know and learn. My cat's going crazy. She doesn't want me to do it, apparently. Um, you know, and just really get to know my natural hair and, and see what I can do with it, what it looks like, and different textures. She's playing with the pie, our tripod now. She's driving me nuts. Okay. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm just so looking forward to being able to do all this stuff with it and hopefully learn the best ways to style my hair, um, what my hair likes, what it doesn't like, what it needs, what it doesn't need. Um, I've kind of figured it out and, and, you know, I've taken copious notes and documented things um, as I've transitioned just to keep track of what I've done, um, what has been successful, and what maybe not. Maybe I can try again with all natural hair. Who knows? Um, so whether that's, you know, my tea rinses, apple cider group, apple cider apple cider vinegar um, rinses or even henna um, henna is like I'm a big fan of henna I recommend it to everybody but you know be cautious so um, but I will probably hopefully maybe do a video on henna someday um, and share that with you guys as well I've been doing that for over a year and, and it's really um, it's really helped a lot with my hair so other than that um, I guess a little bit more about transitioning see how crazy she is um, I, my last relaxer was October 10th of 2014, um, and today is June 28th of 2016, so like I said, I'm almost 21, 21 months, 21 months post, not quite there yet, but my initial plan was to transition for 24 months, um, so that would be in October of this year, and then I decided that I wanted to wait until... December of this year, so it would have been 26 months post, which is kind of crazy now that I said that out loud, um, so that I could take the break in between semesters to really learn my hair. But you know what? It's summertime. I'm not taking any classes. The only thing I have to do is go to work, um, and I go to work looking crazy anyway. So I think um, it's time. I'm tired of taking two hours to detangle my hair. I'm tired of... Um, you know, wearing my bun in the same fruity, floppy, sloppy bun every day because I can't blend my two textures. Um, so it's just like really voluminous and then flat. So I have to always constantly tuck those in and then a lot of times I just cannot care anymore and I just look like poo. Um, so I think I'm ready to do this. It's been 17 years since the first time I got a relaxer. Um, so I haven't seen my natural hair um, since I was nine years old, and you know it's kind of crazy. It, it's going to be a completely, you know, a whole new world. Um, I, I just don't know what to expect, but you know, I, I know that I will be shocked. I will be like, oh, why did I do this? Um, but I also know that I will be really happy that I did, and that I made this decision to make this transition to natural hair and that I'm just going to learn so much and it's going to be, you know, exciting and I know there will be bad days and there will be good days. So I just really can't wait and I'm starting to get a little emotional now because it's, you know, it's so crazy. Like, it's just something, unless you've done it or you've seen somebody close to you do it, it's like, there's a lot that goes into it. There's lots of emotions, there's lots of thoughts, there's lots of considerations, there's just so much stuff. That you have to think about, you know, and, and change, is, change is a big thing. Change is scary, especially, you know, something so unknown. Like, a lot of people are like, oh, well, it's it's your hair. Like, why is it that big of a deal? Well, it is because I don't know it. Like, we're not, you know, I have, we haven't been acquainted. We haven't um, met in 17 years. So it's like a long-lost family member you have to get to know all over again. And um, like I said, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Um, the good and the bad, um, but it's time, it's, it's really time, and I'm tired of thinking about it, I'm tired of, um, you know, dealing, like I said, dealing with these two textures and, and the, the tangles, like the, really it's the tangles, it's, 
and it's ironically like my new growth doesn't really tangle that much that I can often run my hands through it but it's the relaxed ends that are so like just sticky and, and icky and just wrap around each other constantly and that's such a big hassle and you know I constantly sit on the couch anyway um, with a pair of scissors and go through my hair and trim 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 um, so I think it's time um, I'll admit that I probably haven't trimmed as much as I should have um, to get to this point because my hair is still relatively long um, last time I checked it's like actually the back was to my waist and then I trimmed a couple weeks ago um, about an inch two inches and so I was really impressed with that and I also wanted to straighten my hair one more time before I did do the big chop but I have really no intentions of doing too much straightening when I am all natural anyway and I haven't straightened my hair and since December of 2014 so my hair's had a wonderful break from heat and I kind of want to keep it going that way and I think that um, I owe it to myself to see my curls unadulterated by heat um, at least for the first time and, and, and then maybe I can decide whether or not I want to do any straightening later on maybe in the winter months maybe in the winter months um, it's hot right now it's summer it's the middle of June which it's actually feeling more like July or August outside so there's really no point in doing that um, but yeah, I am nervous and I'm ready to do this. Um, my mom and my sister and my niece are coming over, um, for moral support, uh, maybe to laugh at me. I don't know. They're coming over to watch and, um, so, but I know they'll, they'll offer, you know, some support for me as well. But, um, so what I'm going to do after this, uh, what I have in now is actually, um, olive oil that I pre-pooed, um, I put it in last night with every intention of just washing it um, but then I was like you know what I'm just gonna big chop tomorrow and get it over with and not have to detangle these nasty relaxed ends ever again um, so that's what I'm gonna do uh, or that's what I did do with the olive oil it's been in overnight um, and then I'm going to shampoo my hair and then cut it off so yeah um, thanks for watching and I hope that somewhere out there this can be an inspiration to somebody because this is a big deal and this is, you know, returning to who you really are and so it's really important that, you know, you do it on your own time when, you know, you'll know. Like, you just have to listen to yourself and listen to, you know, what's inside as far as when you're ready to do this or that, whether it's big chop right away um, or whether you want to transition. Either way is fine. It's you. It's your hair. It's everything about you to a certain extent. Um, it's your crown. I'll just leave it at that. Um, so, I, like I said, I just really hope that somebody can find some inspiration um, from my process here. Um, and uh, I guess I'll see you guys as I start cutting I'm getting teary eyed. I don't know what. Oh my gosh. Okay. It's cool. It's cool. It's fine. It's fine. I'm good. All right. I'll see you when I. I'll see you when I big chop. Let's do this.